Hi guys. Uh, so sometime back I had put out a question on Hawthorne bias and Barkisonian bias. I got a lot of requests to explain in detail what exactly is Hawthorne bias and Barkisonian bias. So I'll try and explain you that. Now we all know what is bias. Bias is an error that can occur during the designing, during the conduct or during the analysis of a study design. Okay, it is something that is bound to happen. Some error is bound to happen. Okay, now there are two important types of errors, Hawthorne bias and Barkisonian bias and both are asked in your entrance examinations. So the first question is, what is Hawthorne bias? And in which study design is it seen? Okay, Hawthorne bias kya hota hai na? Suppose we've planned a cohort study, okay, in which we are trying to study the effect of uh, say smoking on lung cancer. We have divided our group into two, our study group, uh, our study population into two groups, exposed and non-exposed. Exposed are the ones who smoke and non-exposed are the ones who do not smoke. And we're following them over a period of time to see how many develop lung cancer in the exposed group, how many do not lung, how many develop and how many do not develop lung cancer in both the groups. Okay. Now, what happens in between? We know that in a cohort study, there's a long duration of follow-up. Okay? So in between, what happens is that uh, some of the study participants, they are aware that they're being observed. So what do they do? They quit smoking or they modify their behavior. But they modify their behavior, they quit smoking without bringing it into, your, into the investigator's knowledge. Okay? This is known as Hawthorne bias. They will stop smoking in between, they will modify the behavior, they will quit smoking, they will alter their uh, behavior and they will not report this to the investigator. This is what is known as Hawthorne bias. So I hope you understand what is Hawthorne bias and automatically the second question is answered that it is reported most often in cohort studies. Okay. Now, the other type of bias which is very confusing for students um, and you need to put them uh, in your university answers also. What is Bergsonian bias? Okay. Har jaga tumne padha hoga, Bergsonian bias occurs due to difference in the rate of admissions in a hospital, something like that. Now you get very confused. Now I'll tell you what is Bergsonian bias. Um, what happens? Sometimes you might see it uh, that uh, suppose some pediatric cases are increasing or the pediatric cases you will see are more and more uh, they come to a particular hospital to a particular pediatric OPD and we try to think that the number of pediatric cases are increasing. Okay, you will see that in hospital ke pediatric OPD mein, one of the few hospitals in whose pediatric OPD you will see that every month there are some uh, diarrheal diseases being reported. Okay, or any any respiratory diseases being reported of children every month flocks me children are so you will think that the respiratory cases or diarrheal diseases are increasing among children no that is not the case so you will see that the pediatric or the respiratory cases or the diarrheal diseases are increasing uh, among children no actually that is not happening all the children who suffer from respiratory <coughs> or diarrheal diseases are visiting that particular hospital. Why? Because maybe of the excellent quality of services that the hospital offers or due to its nearness, okay? due to its accessibility, the availability of services. This is what is known as Bakisonian bias. Okay, It occurs due to the good availability, accessibility of services in a hospital or the quality of services that are being offered by a hospital. अगर बहुत सारे केसेस एक साथ एक ओपीडी में हर महीने दिख रहे हैं जैसे सपोज कैंसर के केसेस एक पर्टिकुलर हॉस्पिटल में दिख रहे हैं इट डज नॉट मीन दैट द नंबर ऑफ कैंसर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर कैंसर इज इंक्रीजिंग इट मींस दैट इट इट कैन आल्सो हैपन बिकॉज़ दैट्स द हॉस्पिटल व्हिच इज ऑफरिंग द बेस्ट सर्विसेज इन एनीवन और एवरीवन हु सफर्स फ्रॉम कैंसर इज गोइंग टू इज विजिटिंग दैट हॉस्पिटल ठीक है सो दिस इज नोन एज बार्किनसोनियन बायस एंड ऑफ कोर्स uh, in which type of study design you will see it happening? It is seen in case control study design. Take care. So it is also a form of um, bias that is very important. It's asked in your entrance examination. So I hope I've tried to make you clearly understand what is uh, Parkinsonian bias and Hawthorne bias. Any comments put in the comment section.